वेलकम एवरी वन टू माई चैनल दैट इज़ फास्ट एंड ईजी मैथ्स विच इज़ डेडिकेटेड टू गिव यू टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स रिलेटेड टू मैथमेटिक्स सो स्टूडेंट्स टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू हेल्प यू हाउ टू मल्टीप्लाई फ्रैक्शन ओके दिस इज वन ऑफ द ईजिएस्ट ऑपरेशन इन फ्रैक्शन वॉट यू हैव टू डू इज इट्स वेरी 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 सिंपल दैट यू जस्ट हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई द न्यूमरेटर एंड द न्यूमरेटर एंड यू हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई द डिनोमिनेटर विद द डिनोमिनेटर so let's look at the first one so this normally now comes out to be what see please understand if there is a multiplication of two fractions the answer will also be a fraction okay so your entire operation now becomes what you multiply the numerator and the numerator and the denominator with the denominator so now your answer comes out to be what 2 into 4 is what 8 and 3 into 5 is what 15 okay so i hope this is very very clear okay now what happens is why people get stuck in multiplication or why the answers come out wrong because there is another step which happens in most of the cases not in this one but in most of the cases we'll have to do that step and what is that step that step is simplifying the fractions further okay so in this case now what you do over here see here we have 1 upon 4 into 2 upon 3 so we do this 1 Into two upon four into three, so this now comes into what one into two is two and four into three is what twelve. Now please understand, there's a basic rule in fractions. If the numerator and the denominator have something in common, then you have to cancel that out, and you have to always write your fractions in the simple form. Okay, so basically here I can write this as what. 2 and 12 both of them are even so obviously 2 is dividing 12 right so we know that 2 ones are and this gives us what 6 is right because when you divide so basically let me do this further i'm dividing the numerator and the denominator by 2 because both of them are even okay so now this gets me what 1 2 upon 2 gets me 1 and 12 upon 2 gets me 6 Okay, I hope you all are getting the little bit hang of it. We will do further more sums, a complicated ones, so that you all get a clear cut understanding of how to do these kind of operations when it comes to multiplying fractions. Okay, but before going ahead, students, if you like the way I'm explaining, then please go ahead and hit the like button because that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement in doing these kind of videos. Also, don't forget at the end of this video, I'm going to put up a DIY question whose answers you all can mention in the comment section. So now very quickly over here we can see six into seven. Now I'm not going to do this step. Okay, so six into seven we can directly do the multiplication. We are going to get what forty two, and eight into eleven gets you what eighty eight. Now both of them are even numbers. So again I will divide by both of them by what two. So forty two divided by two and eighty eight divided by two. So 42 divided by 2 gets you what 21, and 88 divided by 2 gets you what 44. Now this cannot be reduced further. Okay, so because if you start the division process, you will obviously come, you will not get anything which is common. Okay, so in such a case, we we'll leave our answer here as it is. Okay, so now let's do this for another one as well. So 9 upon 12, if we have. And here, if we have 14 upon 15, okay. So now, please look the, at this very, very closely. See, when you have something like this, always remember there is a very ground rule at for fractions: what you can cancel and what you can't. Okay, you can always cancel what up and down. It can be diagonally, it can be vertically. It's fine, but you cannot do anything horizontally. That is a absolute no, no. so if you want to cancel something you can always do that but provided it is happening diagonally or vertically it cannot do horizontally okay i hope that is very very clear to everyone so now over here see if you look closely i can definitely go and multiply 9 and 14 and 12 and 15 and then i can do the cancellations but since i am going to i am going to teaching you tricks so your itself when you look closely i can say that 9 and 12 both of them are going in which table three table three table right so i'll divide both of them by 3 now i'm not going to write this step okay 
so i'm going to do this orally so we get what when you divide 9 by 3 so i'm going to cancel 9 i'm going to left with what 3 similarly if i divide 12 by 3 i'm left with what 4 okay so now i am left with what 3 upon 4 into 14 upon 15 so now look closely 3 ones are 3 divided by 3 gets you 1 and 3 divide 15 divided by 3 gets you 5 similarly your both of them are even so here i can divide both of them by 2 so 4 divided by 2 gets you 2 and 14 divided by 2 gets you 7 so your final answer now turns out to be this is very very important you will just multiply the leftover numbers okay not nothing which is cancelled is to be considered for your answer So one into seven gets you seven, and two into five gets you ten. So that is your answer for this particular multiplication. Okay, but you saw how easy this th thing became. Imagine if you had multiplied nine and fourteen, and twelve and fifteen, and then you had to do the whole cancellation process. Things would have become very, very difficult. And the area for you, or rather the scope for you to make mistakes, would become even larger. so here in such cases it's better to simplify the given numbers itself and then you do the actual multiplication okay now let's look at another one let's see 36 upon 45 into 10 upon 19 so 10 upon 18 okay so now see i am giving you all uh you can just take a pause at this video and do it on your own or let's do this with me so now again 36 and 18 are what both of them are even numbers so let's divide that by 2 so 18 when divide by 2 gets you 9 and 36 when divide by 2 gets you 18 okay and 45 and 10 both of them are going in five stages so when you divide 45 by 5 you get 9 and when you divide 10 by 5 you get what 2 now see again you can go ahead and write the fractions and then again do the cancellations or you can do the cancellations here itself okay so we know that 9 ones are and 9 twos are gets you 18 right so when you divide 9 by 9 i'm getting 1 and when you divide 18 by 9 you're getting 9 uh, sorry 2 So your final answer is now just writing the leftover number. So we have what four two into two that gets you four, and nine into one gets you nine. So I hope now you all have understood how easily you all can do these kind of things. Also remember in word problems if you had to find let's say if you had to find half of half a pizza. Okay, whenever something like that off. Of means what multiplication, okay? Meaning, see if this was like um, half of your pizza, okay? And you wanted half of that, so meaning this much, right? So basically, if you do it in mathematical forms, this comes out to be what half into half that gets you one into one gets you one, and two into two gets you four. Now, if I wanted half of a half of a pizza, that means what? my final answer here would be what half of this would that would be nothing but 1/4 it is just 1/4 of the pizza okay so i hope you all are understanding how to do these kind of tricks okay so now coming to your diy you will have to let me know what is the answer for um 18 upon 21 into 35 upon when uh no 36 okay do let me know your answers in the comment section so that's it for today i will see you in the next video